giving you one more chance to talk art. How about 88 chances? Because that's the number as far as the vendors that are here, the artists that you can meet throughout the day and the time that you spend with them to learn about the time it took to create these pieces, getting into their mind, but getting into their source. There'll be a test stack for the show. I'm just kidding. But we've discussed a lot. Fine art, abstract art. Now we're talking mixed media. We're meeting Ryan Curran art. And where are you from, Ryan? So originally I'm from Cincinnati. I'm out of Gainesville, Florida now. And uh, I've been an artist now for about 10 years. And I've been working with Howard Allen Events for about three years. We're talking mixed media right now. And get this, take not note, take notes. There's music notes and songs and uh, in, hidden in your, in your, your, your artwork here. Oh, most definitely. All the, uh, the sheet music that you see is all old vintage sheet music. I try to repurpose um, a, lot of, uh, a lot of that to try to kind of bring it back to life. Uh, bring some of that old music, uh, you know, just kind of giving it, you know, a, a longer life, you know, bringing it back from uh, the old ages and mixing it with modern art. I see Riccoletto there. I see what looks like piano keys. Uh, what's the piano keys made of? So that's a question I get asked pretty frequently, and the piano keys are actually pieces of iridescent stained glass that I cut each and individually by hand. Uh, so that's all iridescent stained glass, all the black and white keys um, this year as well. I use copper. This is all hand-cut copper. I do all the little uh, guitars, all the little music notes. Um, I also do all the, the woodworking in the background. A lot of artists, painters, they use canvas as their background, but I actually create my own background with the woodwork. There's some woodworking in there. I see some good pop of color. You see that purple coming through there, some reflectives. And you also have this other piece oh, yeah, that you so wanted to show everyone. Yeah, set this one aside here because this one in particular is some old sheet music that I use. This is... Uh, been getting harder and harder to find nowadays. It's the uh, Mozart. Let's bring it closer. Oh, most definitely. Yeah. Mozart. I like how art is in the name that works in this piece. Was that like a play on words to make this happen? Mozart? Oh, it sure was. Yep, it's, I, I did it on purpose there. What is this? Yeah. So that's actually uh, copper. That's actually the music notes there as well that I, that I cut by hand. And this particular sheet music was from 1967. Um, I found them from the 1930s, actually even dating back to the uh, late 1800s as well. But uh, this one in particular is from 1967 here. Looks really, really good. And you can find a lot of work here. Rumor has it, actually you were telling me this, yesterday was Artist Setup Day. But the, the clients, the customers, the viewers, they were purchasing the day before the show. Oh, most, that, yep. that window was just kind of self-created. Most certainly. A lot of folks like to uh, to shop while, they're, while we're setting up. You know, it's... um. It's, uh, it's pretty neat, and it's, a, it's always a good experience. Uh, this is uh, something that we've been doing for quite a long time, and uh, we're always excited to see the customers come out and enjoy the art shows. Mixed media, a lot of art, jewelry, glass, sculpture, live paintings or, or workings could be happening at the same time, all happening in Beaver Creek. We're talking about the 34th annual. I'm going to hand that to you. Oh, that's expensive. <laughs> we're, we're talking about the Beaver Creek Art Festival, the 34th annual. In its original location, it's back. And you can find it online as well, artfestival.com. This kicks off at 10 o'clock today. We'll see you here at Ryan's tent. Thank you very much.